What's up guys, this is Red Eye Stardust Dragon and I'm finally back with a video after um, some long time. This is because of life, you know? So um, so I apologize for the lack of videos over two weeks now it is. I also didn't want to open Star Pack frames because it wasn't, it's not a high quality to set to open. And I know the Yugi and Kaiba thing has been released over in the EU but that's already been opened in the US a tons of times but anyway I uh, today I bring to you uh ABC deck profile because I recently bought Firewall Dragon because it's not as expensive as it used to be but still don't have boar load and I decided to play the to play the deck again because it's really fun to play with. Like it's not Pendulum Magician and I do play a lot of Pendulum Magician. Um funny story about the deck I was playing FA FA in locals the day in the day I decided to build this deck and after after breaking tons of times I decided to stop playing FAs and build ABCs because I wanted to go back and play this deck because I enjoy it. So anyway, without further ado, because we're only like a minute into the video, um we play 2A. Um I don't know about A ratio because Sometimes I do like the effect where you add back the Union Monster to hand, especially after you've gone through all your A's. But this is probably like the best ratio for it. I hate the way that it says other Union Monster because sometimes you want the A to go back to your hand, but I guess it's just to stop any broken loops. Um, we play free B Buster, free B's because it's the searcher and probably the best out of them, and two C's. Because this is the standard lineup of the pieces. <coughs> I play free silver gadgets and of course the free gold gadget. It helps you out getting the links, especially with Clifford Genius now in the format, or you can make Sukiomi if you ever need to, because Underclock is a car. I can't wait for for like the light variant of Mrs. Radiance because it's gonna help the stack a lot in terms of Link Monsters. You don't really have to play Clifford Genius anymore because you don't really get the bonus effects of Clifford Genius. And Underclock really is not really useful because you're putting a 1k body on the field just to free up space to make your Buster Dragon. Unless you have a way to get into Decode. Uh, for the tuners of the deck to go into Ancient Fairy, we have two Kako Dudo Do because this is a brilliant card and I love it. And one Distrudo. <clears throat> Distrudo is probably the better version because you never want to see one, the two of them in the same hand. <laughs> and sometimes it's probably better to play one over the other. But I like the variant. Also, remember the Strudo goes in the bottom of the deck in case. You, and because if you don't put it in the bottom of the deck, it could cause some rulings. And then for the last cards, we play hand traps. Unfortunately, I don't have free ash, so I'm playing two effect filler. Uh, one ash because it's the only one I have, because I know there's like the Bajinte Amarastru loop where you can return the ash to your hand. And two ghost ogre because ghost ogre helps counter pension magician, which I would know this because I do play pension magician. And if you don't stop Electrum in the FDK, um, you're dead. So for the field spells, we play three terraforming, one set rotation, one dragon ravine, and three union hammer. Um, this is probably the best to open up with because you get you get to go through the full inch fairy combo, although it can't be stopped by Ash. So it's a bit debatable because you go you essentially go like neg two if you don't get to your ancient fairy. But I like this combo. The only part I wouldn't like is when you open up the dead dead terraformings or dead union hangers but you can always discard those with your buster dragon to cause disruption for the last spell cards we play one monster reborn because sometimes you open only open up with one monster and you need and you ditch it with dragon ravine so you can bring it back and two desires um this is probably this is the only draw card i play in the deck so, so um, the only problem with desires in this deck is sometimes you can banish all your pieces and you can't make Buster Dragon. I have done that once where I banished both my C pieces after getting a A and a B. 
So that was quite unfortunate. I couldn't really win that matchup because I couldn't get to my win condition. For traps, we play free Tarantula Tribute because it's a really good card in ABCs, especially after you cause disruption. You can chain Buster Dragon to bring back the free pieces and and use the chain link. It's just a really good card in general, unless there's like a matchup that you can't play with or if you need to side it out. Um, and then for the last cards, we play the full Solemn Package. Um, I know Skill Drain is a really good card in this deck. I don't main deck it because there wasn't enough space. One problem that I had while building this deck was trying to find enough space to put everything in. So, but overall, I really like this build. Um, if you do have Skill Drain and you want to include it into the deck, then you can go ahead and do it because why not? It's your deck. I'm just giving you a template to build upon. For the extra deck, we play, of course, free Buster Dragon. Sorry for the mismatching rarities there. Because Buster Dragon is your win condition. For the Synchros, we play one Ancient Fairy Dragon. Because Ancient Fairy Dragon is really powerful in this deck. One Black Rose, because sometimes if you're going second, you can blow up your opponent's board. Um, the tech that I like to use with Cockroach de Lou is a Scarlight. Because during your opponent's turn, if you bring it like, with them controlling monster, it becomes a level 4, so you can synchro with one of your other pieces to bring like Scarlight and burn and do basically a board wipe with 500 damage to him. One Diamond Dire because it frees up your extra monster zone and pops any back row and frees up space for your Buster Dragon. One Tsukiyomi because it's really good to draw. This card is going to become a lot better whenever the Light Mrs. Radiant comes out. One Tornado Dragon because back row. The Utopia package, you know, something this deck can struggle over to get over big monsters, especially if they're protection. Like Masterpiece, but I don't know if you can actually win the Masterpiece, but mash up. Because if they make the thing unaffected by monsters, then it's, you're kind of in trouble, but if you can ever make Utopia Light and beat it over. Plus there's like, because I play this in Locals a lot, Um, there are some instances where you can make Utopia Lightning a lot to beat over like monsters that are going to be problematic or are problematic for the length we play one underclock taker one cliff for genius decode and firewall um firewall is probably not the best link forward to play but it's the only one to have because i traded away my top of logic which i kind of regret right now but um i kind of want to play saruj in the deck but it's not exactly the best um, the best in replacement is probably playing board load over over fireball because sometimes an end board I have is decode in the extra monster zone and then I would tag out with buster dragon giving three pieces and then I have the normal summon next turn to make firewall down here it's an extra body plus he does have that like although he's not live you can always make underclock taker with a second tag out because you're your, your one con is Buster Dragon. And Boro Load is probably the best deck to play, but I don't have a Boro Load, so if you do have Boro Load, I'd probably recommend playing it over Firewall, but the reason I got back into this deck in the first place was because of Firewall. I always wanted to play it in in ABC, and I didn't have any good Link 4s to play in my ABC deck until I got this Firewall, which is actually pretty cheap. For me, um, another card I would say... I don't know if I want to play or not is Bibuska because sometimes you do want to stall it. Um, if you want to play Bibuska, I'd probably take out Scarlight because he's not really too helpful sometimes. It's only in those instances where you draw Cockadoodle 2 and you're going second. So if there are any changes I make to the extra deck, it's probably swap out Firewall for Borload and this with uh, Bibuska or Saryuja. I do have Saryuja, but I not playing it in the deck right now because I don't really feel the need to play it but it's your choice once again but this is just the way I like to play the extra deck um I'm gonna go in the side deck now this is the side deck's always personal preference but this is the choice of side side deck I choose uh, one Kamongus because it's a kaiji um basically the full kaiji package I like Thunder King Better than Jizukuri, but Jizukuri is probably the best to play, but and I just personally like Thunder King the best, and these two are the weakest Kaijus. You play one Slumber to go along with that, 
board wipes for going second. Uh, back row hate for going second. <laughs> you have that the, the mancho bar against the pendulum matchup because you got to respect that pendulum matchup. I know how, how powerful the deck is. You play the free anti spell in the pure order. And then for the last card in the side deck, I play one skill drain. Because this really depends on the matchup, and I'm, I don't have space to main it, but I can side it. And it's really powerful in, against certain matchups. But anyways, that's it for my ABC deck profile. If you enjoyed the video, give us a thumbs up. And if you want to see more in the future, subscribe and hit the notification bell because I know there's something wrong with YouTube right now. But anyways, this is Red Eye Stardust Dragon. Out.